Well, good morning and welcome to Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. It is Monday and it is September the 14th and we're delighted you're here. Before I begin today, I want to say a word of appreciation to each and every one of you who completed the questionnaire. Um, as of the time of the making of this recording, I don't know exactly how many uh, have responded, but uh, I do know that over 80 people have uh, pledged to come and to be trained on how we will uh, need to do things when we reopen for worship. And uh, I want to thank you all for doing that, and I want to encourage all of you who may not have responded but want to come and uh, and be a part of it to just pray for these folks and pray for all of us as we do everything we can to get you back into worship as soon as possible. I'll be saying a little bit uh, more uh, throughout the coming weeks about how this is going to look because it's not going to be the same and I don't want anybody to say well this is what isn't what I thought well it will be exactly what we tell you it's going to be and and just we hope you'll uh, we hope you'll uh, be blessed by it as we strive daily to reopen uh, the church for public worship uh, church never closed because we've continued in ministry but we did stop having public worship so just want you to just want you to be about, about that and in prayer. Um, we're going to continue uh, in Matthew 15. Uh, there are two, um, two more stories here. Uh, again, we're up in the district of Tyre and, and, and Sidon, um, and it's about a day's journey from the Sea of Galilee, uh, and he, Jesus has had the um, had the encounter with the Canaanite woman, uh, you will recall. And now uh, in verses 29 through, um, through 39, uh, we, we read the, about the completion of Matthew 15. Uh, in the first, it's really divided into two, two parts. In, in verses 29 to 31, Jesus is up there and the great crowds are coming to him and all kinds of problems. They're lame, they're maimed, they're blind, they're mute. And, and uh, when they brought them, those folks to Jesus, uh, just simply says he cured them. And the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking and the maimed whole and the lame walking and the blind seeing. And the response of this was to praise the God of Israel, to praise God. Remember, all of this is happening in the house of Israel. It's happening as a result of Jesus fulfilling his mission. And then, um, then he feeds the, the, the 4,000. Now, this, this story uh, is, is a little bit different. But again, he has, uh, he has uh, loaves and he has fish and uh, he... he he gives them to the crowd and they're all full and they have broken pieces and baskets full left over. And this is a, this is just another story about how Jesus, Jesus satisfies our needs. And then some now go back a little bit, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of sessions ago when we were talking about Herod, I mean, Jesus Jesus is feeding the people. He is not giving them what they want. He is giving them what they need. And giving people what they need rather than what they want is how we make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. So think about, think about how Jesus was curing people and feeding people and bringing God's kingdom to people because it was this act or these acts on Christ's part that will ultimately lead to a pretty big, pretty big confession coming up in chapter 16. So meditate on these things and we'll see you sometime between this sunrise and the sunset.